So, um, my name's Andrea Tomlin. I am a parent of two kids that go to Ainsworth Elementary. I mean, the school year's been overall pretty good. Even so, there have been some rough spots for parents. Our bus route gets canceled pretty much every day. My name's Jamie Davis. This is the beginning of week four that our, his bus has been canceled. Portland Public Schools, like so many districts, is experiencing a shortage of bus drivers. That, the district says, has led to daily changes and cancellations of some bus routes. But more drivers are being hired and trained. We've asked the district how many routes are being canceled each day and how long it's been happening. But those answers are still unclear. Luckily, we are, you know, we're in a position where we can take our kids to school very easily. But Tomlin says there are some kids who aren't getting to school. She's a part of the Parent Teacher Association and works closely with school leaders. They reached out and said, is there anything that the PTA can do? Because we have kids that have not been in school for two weeks. Tomlin says she's getting calls from other parents. Saying what can we do and how can we help? And we're driving past these kids that are standing at bus stops waiting for the bus and they don't even know that it's not coming. So she jumped in to help. I mean, I spent a weekend calling churches to see if I could find 15 passenger vans. Insurance and liability made that plan tough. Parents organized carpools, but it doesn't feel like it's quite enough. Even those parents who think that this doesn't impact them, it does. It impacts all of us because we are, we're in this together. Parents I spoke to say they wish they had more communication with the district, especially in regards to how decisions are being made around bus cancellations. The district sent KGW a statement that said in part, We have made it a priority to cover all SPED routes first to lessen the impact to these families. SPED meaning special education. But no word yet on whether there are plans to get kids to school who don't have access to other transportation. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.